Colin's Sense of a Duke's Daughter, Chapter 176 Mask. I stand up and return to the venue. It took me quite some time to recover, perhaps Byrne and Rudy may be looking for me. While sighing, I moved my heavy legs forward, and an unexpected appearance came in sight. Oh, Iris. That was the figure of the person I do not want to see the most at the moment. Yuri was smiling like a perfect innocent, delicate and honest lady. Mizzy Yuri, what happened that you're in such a place? I think that your highness is looking for you. I think so too, though. I have a little business with you. What the heck does she want now? My blood was boiling again, and my eyebrows start to crease. She approached me rapidly with a light footstep, and gently licked her lips near my ear. Have you seen it? My, and Dan, relationship. Half smiling like a naughty little kid. However, she surprised me to jump back to her previous position suddenly, as soon as she said it. Well, it's good, I don't think anyone around me would believe what you say anyway. She laughs with a giggle sound. Looking at that figure, a cold and nauseating feeling aroused me, as if a snake is crawling on my body to attack me. Her words are the most cruel, poisonous thing I ever saw. If I make a fuss about it, there must be reliable evidence, so now, to defeat her, I must act in the opposite way of what she is expecting me to. Do you really think it? Because you were lonesome without me in the kingdom, so I asked the queen. To play with you, I asked your friends to not let you be lonely. I bite my lips. Otherwise, it would seem like I'm crying out this black feeling that is rising up in my body. Don't you think that you should better look around yourself a little more? I left quickly. I clasped my trembling fists and stand on the hall. How long have you been in the bathroom? Sister, what have you done in there to spend so much time? You have a bad face. Are you not sick? Byrne and Rudy were looking for me everywhere worried. Looking at their appearances, tears are about to overflow. I scolded myself for being so silly. Do not cry. What would you solve crying? I'm okay. I am sorry. I felt a little bit dizzy. That is why I went to the balcony to have some air. Is not it better for you to take a break instead of being here then? Do you want us to accompany you? No, it's okay now. Let's go back to the house. I started walking while I urged them to not be concerned anymore with me. I laugh, and said thanks to them. Lost sentences and a crying expression. Whatever sad things I feel now, no matter how much is shaking my heart, I have to hide it under the mask of a smile. I am keeping the name and fame of the Duke of Almeria now, and I have to do well for my father. You have to find out Iris. In this place, the influential figures of nobility that will help you grow the territory and stabilize the situation of the Duke's house. And bring the power of those relationships. I tell myself, and try not to think any more about what happened. We must use our fame, to increase the presence, increase our own value. Because I keep now the role of my mother. I must dominate the field. People gather to hear a lot of things, and also to disseminate convenient information for our home. To show the power of the Duke of Almeria, its existence, that is my duty now. And in this battleground, to survive.